Hello boys and girls, welcome to the first episode of my river guide for Austria. We are starting in the west with the Bregenzrach for the standard section from below Betzau to the train station Langeneck. The Putin is along the river below the dam in Betzau. Due to that dam, water is often sparse, but on the long weekend of Corpus Christi, water is guaranteed and there are always quite a few kayakers to meet. The first kilometer until the road crosses the river are well suited to get customized. There are a few rapids and the water level up here is still sparse, so there are not that many options. Below the bridge, with a bit more water, it gets easier regarding water depth. Now the most beautiful section starts with the Schwarzenberger Gorge. It starts with a rapid that allows for easier or more challenging routes. Over the rock walls at the bottom, the old road bridge spans and threatens to collapse any moment, so you better haste below it. After the new road bridge, the river splits. At high flows, left and right are possible. In recent years, most of the water went right, while before it was left, so it changes over the years. On the right, it starts with a rapid that poses challenges with rocks and tree branches from above. It levels out a bit before it runs down again to reunite with the other branch. This looks different every year and it has usually quite a few boulders to curve around. The riverbed now gets wider again as it winds its way down to the camping in Andelsbuch, which is another possible put-in, especially when staying there. Before you get there, there is another split with the main water in the right narrow channel. Once again, at the bottom, the water rejoins through a rapid. Shortly after the camping, there is the weir. It can be portaged easily on the left. Access for a put-in below on the right is possible. If your booth is solid, you can also run it. The main issue is that the crown is very shallow and slows you down. After a bit of rest, it goes on with another rapid around the next curve with many wide holes that are formed by rock bars in the riverbed. Below, the water from the power station comes back in the middle of the river. Now is the time to relax and enjoy the scenery. Maybe also catch up with other paddlers that you last saw a year ago on the adventures of times past. After the next bridge and around the curve is the Weir of Egg, where the gauge is located. This here are 30 cubic meters per second, which is not the minimum, but it is not much above either. The weir itself can be run on the right side, but once again the shallow water at the top makes it difficult. Right below the bridge in Egg, there is the Crooked Corner. While in recent years it became just a simple rapid that flows towards the rock wall with enough space, it has been more difficult with additional rocks and a narrower path in the past. Starting from here, the technical part starts with increased gradient. Once the river is parallel to the road, there are also some big boulders to curve around, which can be great fun. At this low level, the entry is on the right, and then you switch over to the left, 
only to go right again towards the next bend. At higher flows more variations are possible. Around the corner and under the bridge the difficulties lessen. There are still some technical rapids, but in between there are also breather sections. From here on there is a bike trail along the right shore that uses the old abandoned railroad line. When it bridges over the Weissach you have reached the High Five camp which is a popular put-out. They offer all kinds of outdoor activities. Around the next bend there is another rapid with some tricky boulders. This is the last difficulty. Afterwards it gets shallower down to the bridge below Müselbach. The put-out is at the parking where once a train station was located. Due to a landslide, access is only possible from the side of Müselbach. Even so, the train station was the one of Langenegg. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!